And education has become a big political issue. You find uh, governments around the world scrutinizing each other's education policies and outcomes with the same interest. They, they scrutinize their defense policies. It's become strategic. And it's become strategic largely for economic reasons. And it's why we've seen this vast increase in attention to global league tables like the PISA league tables, which have become, I remember saying something, they've become like the Eurovision Song Contest of education. And we all know what the Eurovision Song Contest has done for the quality of popular music, you know, which is really not very much. The thing is that the way that governments have chosen for the most part to promote education improvement is completely back to front and has misfired in almost every way. It's been based on a top-down model of management. We're going to tell you what to do. It's been based on a relentless program of reductionist forms of testing, which has fueled a multi-billion dollar industry producing these things, which have had no practical impact or improvement on schools, whatever. They've had the exact opposite. And it's been a totally failed experiment in, in the countries that have chosen to adopt it. And the reason is that it, these approaches have misunderstood or betrayed all the principles that Peter's just outlined. Learning is a personal process, it's a, it's a social process, it's a collaborative process. And we, these systems of testing and standardization have promoted not collaboration, but competition. They promoted not personalized approaches to learning, but impersonal approaches to learning. They've encouraged schools to game the system, to uh, invent all sorts of areas of learning disability. Uh, you know, I mean, if you have a very narrow view of ability in schools, you automatically invent a huge conception of inability, and then you invent remedial programs to try and deal with the problem you've just created. I often have politicians saying to me, um, you know, we have all these problems of dropout rates in schools, of teacher disengagement, of, uh, of kids who uh, leave school without any sense of purpose or possibility. Uh, you know, how do we solve these problems? And I'm not being facetious when I say it. I say, well, stop causing them. That would help. <laughs> Just don't do it. These, these problems are the result of the system.